It's the latest fad in ultrasound, the handheld. Mindray has entered the fray with the new TE Air, but can it compete with the popular options from Philips, GE, and Butterfly IQ? Hi, I'm Brian Gill with Probo Medical, and this is the Mindray TE Air handheld ultrasound machine, device, whatever you want to call it. The TE Air enters an exciting and growing market of handheld ultrasounds. The technology has come a long way, and now you can get an impressive image from a highly portable device. Now, Mindray has taken a big step over the competition with this unit by creating a product that is completely wireless, but that does not mean it's better or competes directly with products like the Philips Luify, Clarius, or the Butterfly IQ. What sets us apart from the competition is that it's completely wireless, uses single crystal probe technology, has great ergonomics, and there's no subscription required. Now, this is only available as a phased array probe or a sector probe at this time, so its options are also more limited than those of the Clarius, Butterfly IQ, Lumify, or others. Now, the TE Air is designed for specific point of care exams, most notably cardiac, abdomen, lung, transcranial imaging, emergency medicine, fast exams, AAA scans, renal and bladder. Now there are presets and it can do some OBGYN and vascular, but these are in a much more limited scope. So how does this perform in its primary categories? In a word, it's impressive. First and foremost, it is a single crystal probe and this delivers surprisingly good 2D imaging and penetration. Typically with these handhelds, people expect a poor image, but all are surprised at the great image quality they get and this is no exception. Additionally, this has color Doppler, pulse wave Doppler, tissue Doppler, power Doppler, M mode, and a limited calculations package plus annotations. In using this, I expected more lag and interruptions because it is wireless. And I was just assuming that it wouldn't work as well as the wired ones, but everything worked beyond expectations. Now a big win also with the TE Air comes in its ergonomics and again, the fact that it's completely wireless. The ergonomics are a big step up from most handheld ultrasound machines. It's lightweight, evenly balanced, and comfortable in your hand. There's also a programmable button on the probe, which makes it convenient for freeze or save functions. Now the user interface on the phone is pretty intuitive and can be controlled easily with one hand. It wasn't hard to learn and most things I could do with my thumb, including resizing the color box, adjusting pulse wave Doppler, choosing imaging modes, and selecting annotations. Now the only downside on this is that it is only available on the iOS. There isn't anything for Android at this time in mid-2023. Now, as I mentioned a hundred times already, it's completely wireless, and this is a bigger deal than you would think. While there are advantages to having a cable on the portable probe, the big disadvantage is that they're not that convenient and have an amazing ability to get in the way and snag on things when you walk around with it. You only need to get that thing caught on an object once before you stop carrying it around in your pocket. The TE Air, don't have that problem. It's small, lightweight, and can fit in your pocket very well. It also has great DICOM capabilities that allow connection to a PAX network and even connecting to DICOM work list. This unit also carries a three-year warranty, and once you buy it, it's yours. There are no annoying subscription fees, which is a nice change. As great as this is, don't forget that this is designed for a very specific point of care market. It is not designed to perform complex, full studies, although it's convenient, fast, and can give you a great look inside the body when it's needed. I'm Brian Gill with Probo Medical, and that's what you need to know about the Mindray TE Air portable color Doppler ultrasound device. Thanks for watching.